Hi guys, welcome to the Halloween series. I'm gonna show you how I went through the whole process of trying to get this done because I really did not know how it was gonna end up. I just kind of put it together with bits and pieces of things that I had laying around. Very happy with the way it came out, so I hope you enjoy. Okay, so for this project, we're going to need the most important part is the cake pan. This is a skull, pa skull cake pan that I got last year. It's um, Nord Nordic Ware makes it. They sell it. They sell it in a bunch of different places. But I thought it looked so fun for Halloween, and it's just so open to interpretation. So in this video, I am going to attempt to decorate this as a Dia de los Muertos. Um, in that style. So I'm gonna add some color and some a bunch of pretty details to it. So um, I baked my cake and this is what it came out. This is how it looks and um, I'm going to stack it. This is the back. I'm going to put some buttercream in the middle. I'm going to use some dowels and stack it on a nice board and then I'm going to cover it in buttercream and then fondant. So I'm going to work with a white skull and from there I'm going to just kind of wing it and see what happens and I'm gonna I'm gonna add a lot of colors and um, I think I have some flowers from other projects that I've worked on so I'm gonna just kind of see what happens and where this goes and hopefully at the end we'll have something cool and fun to look at so let's do this first the stacking I'm going to cut the the domes off you know, the part, the, this part, and I'm um, going to put some buttercream in the middle and use some dowels to make it um, stay up. Okay, so I gave the whole cake a very thin layer, carefully going into the little grooves um, with some Swiss meringue buttercream. And the only part that I try to go thicker is in the crease where both cakes meet so that I don't have any, when I cover it in fun, then I don't have any um, lines showing. So that's it, ready for the fridge. covered it in white fondant. I'm going to get all my royal icing, I'm going to get some paint brushes and um, just gather whatever I find around and see, see what, what's going to come out of this cake.
Okay, guys, this is it. This is my Dia de los Muertos skull. I was able to find all these flowers that I had saved up and leaves and stuff. So I was able to decorate it pretty nicely, I think. This is actually edible lace, which is completely flexible. It's really cool. Maybe one day I'll show you guys how to make that. So stay tuned for the next Halloween series video next week. And please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.